Hey guys, it's TechBlazer, and even though I said my next video would be about analyzing bases, a new update came out on the 24th, and I wanted to review it. Today, we do not have a POV because it's kind of a last-minute recording, and most of the updates I'm going to be reviewing were semi-oriented based on Clash Royale, the other Supercell game released in 2016, and I'll explain more about that as we go on. So one of the main things that you will notice during the update is clan orientation of the chat and also global orientation. So originally the top was the newest and most recent chat, but now if you click and chat, since I'm on BlueStacks, it, the keyboard won't show up. Um, your most recent post will be, come on, oh, I have to push the check. The most recent post will be at the bottom instead of the top, and that goes for clan too. It also has this new way to access your clan information, which you just click on that. Um, another thing that is created based on Clash Royale is the challenge button, and you're going to challenge or whatever, and you're going to do can you beat my village, and you're also the um, clan troops layout will be kind of the I don't think okay no they do not extend your clan troops they will stay in your castle even if they come completely demolish your base so that's a really fun and interesting way thing to do while you're in your free time and it will also help you realize where your flaws are and how you can fix it without actually losing any loot i believe two new troops have been added one spell and one dark elixir spell so let's review those really quick. So in your barracks as a Town Hall 9, you will get this new troop called the Baby Dragon. And this also came from Clash Royale. And you'll notice the funny thing is the dragon looks nothing like the original dragon. It's not even the same color, which is kind of funny, even though it's called the Baby Dragon. But it was originated from Clash Royale, so you know, can't really say anything about that. But... Yeah, and also the funny thing about this too is you get the regular dragon and then you get the baby dragon, which is kind of weird. I think it should have been vice versa, but of course, if you had the dragon originally and you just got it swapped out with the baby dragon, it wouldn't exactly be fair. So I understand why Supercell did that. The other true is the miner and it will go underground so it's kind of like a hog but it's reversed and it does, doesn't trigger any traps but yet the rage or the i guess you don't really need jump the spells like um the haste spell will still work on it so gain bonuses from spells the troop no oh, gosh not troops the spells so wrong one this is the clone spell and it apparently lets like creates a copy of spell not spells copy of troops and it kind of sounds like itself it creates a circle spawning creates lifelong cop lifetime copies of troops that enter it and only spawn up to maximum housing space so if none of your troops have died and you place this then nothing will come up so make sure you use this in the heat of the battle like the middle or towards the end for dark elixir spells we have the skeleton spell, and this kind of came from Clash Royale as well, and you just um, spawns a whole bunch of skeletons. It wasn't really a spell in Clash Royale, but it was a card, and also the, um, I don't know what it's called, like the gravestone area thingamajig that has a whole bunch of skeletons coming out. It's like a gravestone hut. So a lot of these, as you can tell, you'll recognize from Clash Royale, and the last and my favorite addition that Supercell did was the donations. And what you can do is, it obviously does this, but you can click donate now, which has a gem sign. So, for every troop that you have unlocked or spell, you will be able to donate by gemming it. Which is really, really great. So let's say um, I wanted to gem these hogs for TA. You see my gems going down and i just did that and he'll probably say thank you but yeah 
you can just gem it and whatever and it'll automatically come so it's kind of like if you want to give them troops but you don't have them cooked in your army and you kind of want to um give it to them without getting anything out of your army especially if it was a high level not high level high housing troop like the golem you can just gem it um of course i just wasted a whole bunch of gems but it was kind of worth it to show in the video thank you guys for watching this was a really short version of my last episode of reviewing which was what are those thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys next time